So it's been a while since I've uploaded. Um, to be totally honest, this whole quarantine has been, uh, it's been definitely changing the way that I act when it comes to YouTube, but I'm trying to get back into it. So to all those of you who are subscribed, don't worry. This isn't just going to be me dipping every two weeks and not making videos. I'm going to try my hardest to not slack off and start making videos more frequently. However, during the time that I was gone and made my uh, last funny little April Fool's video, um, some news about Grand Theft Auto came out, uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 in particular. If you haven't heard, essentially Grand Theft Auto 6, a leak came out, like a reputable leak came out saying that Rockstar is in the early stages of development for Grand Theft Auto 6. Now that could mean a lot of things, but what they said is that they already have a plan of what the game is going to be and they have a plan of how they're going to release it too. So it's going to start off as like a moderately sized release and then they're going to update it in the, you know, continue to update it and then kind of like what GTA 5 sort of did. So you get the base game when the game comes out, whenever it comes out, and then they'll just improve it as it goes on significantly. And lots of people are, I guess, understandably surprised and a little bit upset by this just simply because of how weird it is that it took them what it's only seven years since gta 5 came out and they're only in the early development stages but to be totally honest i'm actually surprised that they even that this even came out i would have expected them to not even be like be on the drafting stage let alone the developing stage because to be totally honest grand theft auto 5 already is making so much money that there's very little reason to develop a sequel that would definitely kill that player base however today i want to talk about the the race for gta 6 because rockstar is in a situation now where they have to make gta 6 like nothing is exactly forcing them to do it like they don't they have a choice in the matter however it's still likely that they're going to try and push it out quicker than ever and put their team under a lot of stress now why would that be well first off as everyone knows in about maybe seven months from now the next gen of the next generation of consoles will be out and that will completely change the game for for every every player in the industry so now suddenly rockstar is going to be in a situation where they're likely going to port gt5 over to the new consoles just to you know make some quick cash off that and to you know appeal to people who haven't played it before and are getting a new console but they also are in a situation where the game is going to be it's going to feel old on this new hardware not just in terms of graphics, but in terms of age. Like, the game is, at that point, it'll be about eight years old, almost. And I guarantee you that unless the graphics are, like, severely enhanced or something like that, then I highly doubt that we're going to see a whole bunch of people going out of their way to buy it for the new consoles. Another thing, too, was simply just how successful the game was on its own merit. Personally, I think what people are going to be looking at in the next GTA is going to be graphics and just appearance a lot more than other things maybe i think story will also be very high up there but if I'm being honest most people just really want gta 6 to be realistic and when i say realistic i also now think but don't even just mean graphics if you look at online for gta 5 it is um it's definitely gone the saints row path uh if you're talking if you're if rockstar was trying to make a realistic game they would not have included like an oppressor mark 2 like a flying motorcycle that can shoot rockets um, you know, like, a the Widowmaker, things like that. So, definitely people, from what I'm seeing, don't like that Rockstar took that direction. But, so they're gonna have to choose between realistic, just a realistic game, or just, you know, just going all out and putting whatever the hell they think of in the game. So, that's another thing that Rockstar is gonna have to consider when they develop for the next generation of consoles. And personally, I feel like they should go for a more realistic approach, because it is, I mean... I do have an oppressor, I have all that, but it's, you know, when I first started out, it was really annoying to see people just blowing up with an oppressor and stuff like that, especially if you didn't start right away, it was just, I don't know, you had to be playing a lot and, you know, give Rockstar money, like lots of shark cards in terms of, in order to build yourself up and stuff like that, and to, you have to buy, you have to spend a shit ton of money on GTA, that is if you want to have a fun experience, you could just play it normally and just kind of, I guess play in your own lobby but if you wanted to have the full online experience then yeah on a different topic though what will the game even be like so talking about cities there's been lots of rumors saying that it could be a new city or it could be a return to an older city that rockstar has done before a lot of rumors are pointing towards vice city which is based on miami i'd personally like that i love miami and i'm sure a remastered vice city would be really cool 
Also, a lot of rumors saying that's going to involve like a drug trade, and they're going to it have it set in like the 70s and the 80s. Again, whether it'll be a realistic game or not, that's also up to Rockstar to decide what type of vehicles and weapons are going to include, um, different things like that. Whether they're going to bring back old characters, bring in some new ones. That would be really cool to see, but again, who knows? I mean, all the crazy shit that they put in the game makes them so much money. So, Now, what does that have to do with the race for GTA, though? Well, the thing is that Rockstar is in a situation now where they have to make a choice right now. There are, well, they've actually probably probably made their choice. They're past the drafting stage, at least from what we've seen. And they're in the development stage, so they've already probably made their choice. However, to the magnitude that they're going to include all that is going to depend on the release date. My opinion, it's going to come out probably 2022. I think we're probably going to get a trailer in 2021, maybe. Uh, but I definitely don't feel like we're going to be seeing it anywhere near the launch of the current gen consoles. However, that's just my opinion, and I hope you enjoyed this extremely rambling type video. This quarantine content got me, um, got me making some not as good content. However, I hope you enjoy it anyway. It's just fun to talk about stuff like this. And again, I really want to hear your opinion in the comments. So let me know, and as always, I hope you enjoyed, and see ya.